Hello everyone, Marco here from GarageFarm.net. Welcome to the first of a few quick tip tutorials that'll supplement DJ's up and coming exterior ArcVis series. Today we'll learn how to create quick and easy rocks in Blender 2.8 using the Rock Generator add on, and then we'll populate a simple terrain with the Object Scatter um, add on. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is enable our Rock Generator add-on. You'll find it in the Testing tab in the Add-on section of your Preferences panel. Hit Shift-A to add objects in the Mesh drop-down to select the Rock Generator. Alright, so here's our first rock. I'm going to disable Use Random Seed because it creates less predictable results as I play with the parameters. I'll experiment with these sliders until I get a shape that I want. I'm, I'm liking the look of this. So I can create variations of rock by increasing the number of rocks I want generated at the time. Now that I've got a few rocks ready, I can start shading them. For simplicity, we'll use one material for them all, but before we start, I need to make sure my node Wrangler add-on is activated. With it, I can import an entire texture set and have each texture connect to the appropriate input in my principal shader. To do this, just hit shift Control t and then choose your texture set. Now when we preview our rocks again, we can see the texture. I'll select my rocks, leaving the one with the material for last, and with Control l I'll link my material to the other rocks. And now that our rocks are textured, we can create a simple terrain object and populate it. I'll add a grid, I'll increase the subdivision, and just create elevations on the surface by activating my proportional editing tool. Because plain primitives come with a UV map, I can use it to quickly add a ground texture. I'll need to check my preferences again to make sure the object scatter is enabled. Okay, so to scatter my rocks on my terrain, I'll select the rocks first and the terrain last. I'll bring up my search tool with F3 and type scatter in the search field. And there it is. After I click on scatter objects, I'll be able to draw on my terrain object. And you can see we get the representation of our rock instances around my strokes. On the top right of Blender's interface, we can see our object scatter settings. And here we can adjust density, how far apart from each other the instances are, and so on. I'll hit enter and now my rocks are scattered where I wanted them. Quick and dirty. And that's it. I hope you found this useful and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more Tuts, weekly sessions with DJ, and the occasional stream featuring some of the best artists in the Blender community. Happy blending from all of us at garagefarm.net.